What up, guys? What up, YouTube? Today we're going to watch a couple monoskin interviews every once in a while. Not every once in a while, but we got to put some monoskin in here because we love them. So we're going to. All right, so we're just going to watch a bunch of monoskin interviews, and that's what we're doing. Welcome to the channel. I love you. If you're new here, please subscribe. If you don't want to, then that's cool too. But let's listen to these interviews. This is Monoskew. The first one is Monoskin's interview after the first iHeartRadio performance. Let's hear it. It's Emily Girl here. We're backstage at our iHeart Alter Ego hanging out with Monoskin. Hello. 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 It's so nice to see you all. And before we even dive into the music and everything we have to discuss, I want to take a moment to appreciate these outfits for a second. <laughs> Y'all look amazing. Thank you. <laughs> Tell us a little bit about the inspiration behind these tonight. Um, we work with Gucci as we always do. And uh, we created this Gucci. outfit in, uh, featuring with them. <laughs> and we had, as always, a lot of fun uh, experimenting and trying new stuff like this. <laughs> and uh, yeah, we're really happy of the... I would, it would be hard for me to work with any Gucci or that because I'd be like, bro, I can't wear that. I don't look good in that. I just wouldn't feel comfortable wearing Liberace type outfits. But, you know, I'd be like, can I get some jeans and some a t-shirt maybe? I don't want to dress like Liberace. But they could pull it off. They they look good in damn near anything. I don't know. They, they got that swagger. Some people could wear whatever and they look good. I'm not one of them. Oh, he came out. I want to borrow those boots next time, okay? Yeah. <laughs> Me too. Yeah. Um, now, what's special is, again, we're backstage, and I actually got a chance when I was walking around to hear you all doing your sound check. Yeah. You sound amazing. And, again, how fun is it for you to see the, the audience, see those seats, know they're going to be filled with your fans? Does it ever get old? No, never. It's amazing, especially, like, playing in huge events like this with other amazing artists. It's really, like, a big opportunity for us every time we enjoy it fully. What's so cool about this show, again, a show like Alter Ego, is a show of headliners, right? So, again, so many Coldplay, Kings of Leon, Imagine Dragons. Who do you Why do I hate Coldplay? I used to like them, and now I hate them. I cannot stand Coldplay. I'm sorry. I love Kings of Leon, uh, their second CD, Only by the Night, or whatever it's called. Uh, who else did she name? She named someone else. And so many Coldplay, Kings of Leon, Imagine Dragons. Who do you get most? Imagine Dragons, I don't like them either. Maybe I'm too old, I don't know. Kings of Leon, good. Coldplay, they're okay, they get on my nerves. Monisk, I like Monoskin better than all of them. Psh, I do like that Coldplay song, Yellow, though. Excited to maybe see play and also meet. Um, me, Willow. Me, Coldplay. Yeah, there's a lot. Uh, Willow, uh, Kings of Leon, and... Thank uh, you, Damiana. Kings of Leon. Yeah, I, I think all of them. <laughs> <laughs> but they were pilots. Were really yeah. curious. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, and one thing I also love, too, I've done this just for my socials, is you have such an intense fan base. They love you all. What? If you can't deny it. Monoskin has a hardcore fan base. They go hard. Some of the most passionate fans I've seen. You can't deny it. It's true. Playing your shows. What's been the wildest fan moment at a show for you? Well, in a show, I don't know. In a show, yeah. Maybe like the last song we play, we always get all the people on stage, uh, and it's very fun and wild every time. Wait, so you bring the fans up on stage with you? Yeah. And what? And security is like, no, don't do it. And we're like, ah, oh, come on. <laughs> um, again, we're so excited about the music we have coming out. What else can we expect from Monoskin and look forward to? We're working on a lot of stuff, new music, and. Uh, yeah, basically new music and all that concerns, so videos. It felt like he was going to say we're working on a new album, but he didn't want to fully say it. So he said we're working on new songs. They're working on a new album. I think everybody knows that by now. But yeah, we're working a lot. Yeah, for you, what is the most exciting, all of you, what's the most exciting part of the process? Is it the performing, the songwriting, the fashion? Do you each have a sort of lane you gravitate towards? I don't know. I think it depends. And uh, for me, I think it's the, the writing session yeah. and then the performing. Yeah. All yeah. that is in the middle. Mm. <laughs> I don't really. <laughs> mm. It's got it. The music's got to be first, obviously. I mean, without the music, there's no. There's no roots. The roots, the tree, the tree, the roots is the freaking music. Then. Throughout the tree, there's the fashion, there's the performance, there's the all the other shit. But the music, it all starts with the music. Let's face it, why are we all here? The music. 
<laughs> well, great. I think we got to do it again. <laughs> We're wrapping it up. <laughs> um, again, we got to get back. We got to let you guys get back. Again, congratulations. Meteoric Rise. We're so happy for you. Meteoric so excited. Rise. So good to see you all here. Again, thanks so much for being here and congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> we'll toss back to you guys. All right, let's go to another interview. Now, this might look ghetto because you might see that in the little corner square of me browsing. All right, now we got Monoskin on competing with Abbott and Eurovision Advice British Awards 2022, bruh. Good evening. Okay. Manis, evening. Tell me how to say Maniskin, because I keep saying it wrong. Uh, Maniskin is fine. Maniskin's fine. Uh, good. I, it's good. It's good. Maniskin. So the guy on SNL said Maniskin. Yeah. We're going with Good Evening good. Maniskin. Okay. Hello. Maniskin. I said how, you guys Maniskin. look amazing. Thank you. Do you feel amazing? Absolutely. Yeah, of course. Every day. <laughs> two huge nominees, two, two huge nominations. How does it feel? And what do you make of your competition? It's very exciting to be nominated, and uh, we didn't... It. Who were they nominated against, guys? Let me know. Who was in the category with them? Let me know. And did they win? Actually. And uh, I don't think we're going to win, because we're competing with ABBA, which is... <laughs> Why? Uh, but Justin Bieber, The Weeknd. Yeah, but you know, <laughs> but you know. I'm... All right, so let me think. Abba, I don't, I'm not too familiar. I know they got a couple of songs that I, I like. I'm not a huge fan. I know more Mana Skin than Abba. The Weeknd, I do like. That's just, it's a weird thing to compare them. It's like comparing Metallica to Britney Spears, or all right, that's a bad comparison. It's like comparing Metallica to to. I don't know, like uh, Journey, you know, they're both amazing, they're both iconic, but they're just too different. The the Weeknd and Monoskin, I don't know if they compare good, that's a weird category for them to be in with. As this, this <laughs> iconic thing in, in them, that's, yeah, they're unbeatable. But you have to believe. Yeah, but we, we, we just, of course it would be amazing, but, but for us it's... I like that they're real, you know, they're saying... You know, we want to win, we believe in ourselves, but we're realistic, too. Everyone loves The weekend. Everyone loves ABBA. We're like the new get kids on the block, but they do have a good chance. They do have a good chance. You know, they would get my vote, probably. I do like The weekend though. I can't lie. It's just the comparison is too weird. I wouldn't even know how to vote. Like, what am I voting on? Their genre is, like, I, way different. Already a huge achievement to, to be nominated. Absolutely. Well, you guys play like the best band in the world, so maybe should this, tonight's the night you become the best band in the world. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. After tonight, I mean, anyone else in the room you're really looking forward to catching up with tonight? Uh, there's a lot. Like yeah. Ed Sheeran, which is a good party animal. Yeah. We, we... Ed Sheeran could drink. And I like him. I like his album, Divide. It's really good. He's starting to get a little played out. You know, I feel like he's starting to make the same kind of music over and over again. But he does have extreme amounts of talent. I watched a documentary on him. He writes song. He could write a hit song in like five minutes. Ed Sheeran is super talented. And, uh, yeah, he can drink, too. He's a part. He's, he's a drinker, man. He's Irish. He's Irish. He doesn't get drunk. I had a party with him, so it's, yeah. nice. it's a good guy. Did you chase an Ed Sheeran collaboration, maybe? Oh, Who knows? <laughs> Big numbers. Well, where'd you go after collaborating with Iggy Pop? It was yeah. so sick. That's good. <laughs> Very cool. Very good. Can I just say that collaboration, and I could see it in their faces, Iggy Pop, I don't want to disrespect the OGs, but he sounded like shit on that song. He sounded like shit. What's he like? <laughs> He's crazy. crazy. Yeah. yeah but, <laughs> just yeah. how you would picture Iggy Pop. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly how would you think about it. Yeah. Amazing. Any guests on the next record? You guys are working on a new album right now, right? Yeah. yeah. What can you tell us about the vibe of the next record? Sorry. If I could pick any collaborations, I would love to see the singer from Shinedown. Um, I know this isn't going to happen. I'm just, you know, for fun. We'd like to see the singer from Shinedown, the singer from Blue October. I would love to see Yellow Wolf on a Monoskin album. Uh, who else? I don't know. I don't really care too much about collaborations, but 
David Draymond from Disturbed, maybe. That would be cool. I don't know. There's a lot. What can you guys tell us about the vibe and feel of the new album? Uh, well, we would just want to like let the, mu let the music lead us. We don't want to make that or that or that. We just want to write new music and see how it goes. Yes. When do you think we can hear it? Uh, <laughs> As a musician, that is so true. When we go to make music, we don't aim to create anything. We're not like, okay, we're going to do this. Uh, sometimes there might be a direction, like let's try to make it heavier or darker or something. But usually it's just whatever comes out of you. You know, it's natural. If you're forcing something that's weird, let it be natural. Unless you're really, you have a vision that you want to achieve. Most times it is whatever comes out of you. You know, it's got to be natural. That's what he's saying when he says we let it lead us. Let the music lead you. Nobody knows it. <laughs> Amazing. And um, what are you guys going to do? Hold on. I'll be right there, Amelia. Okay. All right, bye. That's my little cutie pie. All right, I got to get off soon. So right after this interview. After the awards tonight, what does a Maniskin night out in London look like? We have a party. Yeah, I'm going, I'm, I'm going, I'm going to bed. <laughs> Tomorrow I have a super early flight. So, yeah. And if you do win tonight, do you have any kind of really... How are you going to accept your award when you win? <laughs> <laughs> then go away, like Robert Atkin, Atkin, Atkin's son. Yeah. And of course, Eurovision is just around the corner. What would be your advice you to this year's Eurovision hopefuls? How do you win Eurovision? Yeah. Have, Have fun, fun and be their selves. Yeah. Yeah. Don't put too many things on the stage. Yeah. Keep the focus on you. And the music. Yeah. Maniskin, thank you so much for your time. Cheers. I like what he said. Don't put too much too many things on the stage. I think a lot of people were, you know, trying to put, do some crazy shit, like all this extraordinary, extravagant things. Just get up there and perform well and sound good. And then people like it, they will like it. They will love it. If they don't, they don't. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. Uh, just a quick little video. I wanted to see a couple interviews. I like to do some monoskin even if they haven't released nothing new or nothing lately, I still like to do some. I got to get some monoskin on the channel. Guys, thank you so much. Have a great day. I love you. I got to go check on my daughter. And that's all. Have a good day. Peace out, guys. We love you. We love you. Mwah. When everything falls apart When you're dumb but you feel so smart Cause that's what mama's supposed to say